Hey folks, Tim here from High End Cheap Tech, and tonight we're going to talk about a little follow-up on the Sabrent. Uh, if you watched uh, the disc cloning drive uh, that I posted on recently that I received about a week ago, two weeks ago now, and, uh, you know, with the one-button cloning and the great big data cable, and we're going to go over that. Uh, coming up is a picture of how that drive looks right now. Uh, reading it is just as instantaneous through the USB hub as uh, it would be uh, <coughs> if it was still plugged into the PC. It, it's really fast. It's uh, USB 3.0 only into an old Zotac. Bam, it's there. Just as quick as can be. I can't tell the difference between that and then clicking on the main PC drive. Honest to God. So, yeah. Oh, you need a USB 3.1 and Thunderbolt 17. No, you don't. Not for using this thing. And you could plug two drives into it if you wanted to. Uh, hard drives, you know, as long as they're SATA 3s. So, all that being said... We'll do the intro and then get right to the meat of the matter. And I'll show you how I, you know, my light bulb finally came on like, a, I don't know, a few days after owning it. And now I don't have to worry about disk space anymore. Life is good if you use what's between your ears. And that would be your brain. Sometimes you just got to. Think things out. And I had to put something up tonight, and I really didn't have anything when I got home, so I laid down, put the El Cheapo earbuds in, turned on some music, and somewhere after I fell asleep for an hour or two or three, it came to me in a dream. I need to tell folks there are other ways to do things. Always think things out. And that is part of being high-end and cheap tech. I mean, obviously, you don't want this thing sitting on your desk when you're using it every time. That's just, that's just damn silly. Think about it. That's dumb. So let's do the intro, and we'll be right back. Hi folks, Tim here just cutting in. Quick message about TubeBuddy.com, as you will see coming up on the screen right now. TubeBuddy is the premier tool for helping you edit and maintain your presence as a creator on YouTube. It integrates flawlessly. If you have a free version, uh, it goes right into your browser and you use it as you're you know, doing your editing and, uh, and uploading. And it, it's an excellent tool. Uh, as far as prices go, the price is coming up on the screen. Um, if you get the free version, a lot of times they'll offer you, uh, they'll make you an offer. They made me an offer, and I'm only paying $4.50 a month. So, check it out at the link that you're going to see on the screen, and at the link below, uh, www.tubebuddy.com forward slash high-end cheap tech. And now let's get back to that video we were doing. So I'm back. And uh, you know, we had to show that tube buddy ad to you. We got to do something to make a little income. Um, yeah, until folks actually read the description below and maybe click that donate link and send us a buck or two. Because right now we didn't have anything to, you know, buy or test. But, through the magic of editing and power director on this phone, we're going to show you two quick segments of how my, you know, desk space looks. My little studio here. Very little. And then, what I figured out that was so simple, even a caveman could have thought of it. But sometimes... You just have to sit back and think, 
I need to think stuff out. That's the way to do it. Don't get a bigger desk. Use the space you already have. So we're going to get to those right now. Let's do that. Here they come. And we'll catch you in the next one after that someday. So, this is my normal desktop configuration. Folks, this is what we're stuck with. Yeah, very little room. Room for the Artec and, and Arctic. Uh, soda cup and my mouse and a napkin and not much else and as you can see if you put the save run up there on the desk that would take a lot of room up and then I'd have to run cables in from way back there all the way up and then have the save run shoved back there and then get that data cable right here over the USB-C hub now by the way the uh, that big cable is strictly used for data. Power comes from a power supply. It'll power your SSD or your hard drives. You can put one or two in there. Uh, either three and a half or two and a half. Uh, say the threes. So, now let's get the, to the next step through the magic of editing. Here we go. Whoosh. So as you can see, this sliding shelf is now empty. I'm sliding it back just so I can show you this stuff. I've got everything thrown up on the desk. So down here, I keep my keep the peak uh, vacuum, and there sits the Sabrent. And as you can probably see, hopefully, uh, the... Uh, Green light is on the power supply. Now, after a while, this thing will go to sleep, and that green light will blink. doesn't matter. The moment you click on it in Windows Explorer, poof, it's awake. And that saves power. And I could reach around down behind it, but that thing sitting up on the desk up here, you know, would just take up so much room. It'd be ridiculous. And this way, the power supply cable has plenty of slack in it. So we're not tugging on it because it barely fits into what I have. So the bottom line here is always think things out. And then, of course, that cable comes up, as you can see up here, and goes right up, uh, well, under my, I, you know, had to throw the Artec keyboard somewhere. Uh, comes right up here. And you can see the green light is on. When the green light turns off, we're no longer transferring data steadily. Uh, it, it could take about an hour, and then it'll finally start to power down and save you plenty on, uh, on horsepower. You can also reach around behind it and turn it off when you're not using it if you're going to bed or something. So just a simple tip. Always think out what kind of space you have. That is a very long and heavy-duty cable, folks. Uh, it's probably six foot long. So I could have that thing sitting way at the back. I keep it up front so I can reach around behind it and turn it off when I don't need it. And that's all we have for tonight. If you found this informative, useful, or in the least bit entertaining, well, thanks for watching. And we'll catch you, I don't know, probably not tomorrow. I think I'm going to take Christmas Eve off. Uh, I want to thank the uh, folks who subscribed recently. We picked up two more. And thank you, folks, for doing that. Now, make sure to like and sh uh, yeah, share and subscribe if you haven't already. Catch you in the next one. Bye for now.